and it's mad because half the people on YouTube say you need a niche, you need to niche down, niche, 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 niche. And then the other half are saying you are the niche, you know, you can be the niche. You don't need a niche, you can be whoever you want to be. But actually, when you're being multiple things, then does it work the same way? Because YouTube's probably like, what the hell are you, Lauren? Who are you trying to target? We don't know because you're going there and then 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 you're going there. So what are you trying to do? Hello, my loves. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today's gonna be a little bit more of a laid back, relaxed video and it's gonna be a bit different to what I usually do. I'm coming at you today with some raw, real thoughts that I've been pondering for the past like couple of weeks now. And I'm just trying to figure some things out. And I've come here today to ask you guys for a little bit of help. The things I've been pondering this week, and it's the reason why I haven't posted this week yet because I've been stuck in decision paralysis for like uh, just just this whole week so we'll get into it and I'll talk a little bit about why but mainly the reason why I wanted to come on here today was to talk about the struggles of being a small YouTube content creator so I've been posting on YouTube now since 2017 I've been very sporadic and I've definitely hit quite a few niches so I think it's kind of damaged my channel a little bit and it's felt very much, this last year has felt very much like an upward struggle. I have had my channel obviously for about six, seven years now. I was consistent for a very, very short period of time and it was only a very minimal amount of time. I got monetized and then this year of 2024, I got demonetized because after I got monetized, I just kind of stopped posting as much. It's just like I ticked a box or something and then I just stopped and I really, really took that for granted because now, <laughs> well, actually, as soon as I got my monetization took away from me, it really made me realize how much I actually wanted this. So it's been an interesting journey, guys, and lots of things have changed this year and lots of things have come up. The thing that I've been pondering the most is whether to create a brand new channel. Have this channel still going, but only really post specific content to this channel. A little side note, I also got diagnosed with ADHD in September of this year, and that's been very, very eye-opening for me and makes a lot of sense as to why I've kind of approached this channel with so many different niches. And it's just basically been based on the things that I've been really enjoying in the moment. So I've just been sharing based on like what I'm passionate about at that time or things that I felt like I've learned that's really helped me improve myself and my mental health. So. Side note of ADHD, we're gonna circle back around to that, okay? So I'd really love to hear your advice on this matter because at the end of the day, creating a channel and building a community, an audience, you guys are the ones that are watching the videos. So it matters to me what you guys feel is best because I can truly put my hands up and say, I've, like I said, targeted so many different niches here on this channel. And I'm sure it's probably quite confusing for the people that come across it and think like, well, is she doing that? Or is she doing this? Or what is she doing there? So I'm coming at you today and asking for a little bit of help to just get some advice from you guys, from my subscribers, for anyone that comes across this video. I'm asking for a friend basically to see what you guys think is best. Because what matters to me is your enjoyment and you're taking some precious, very precious time out of your day to watch these videos. And I really don't want that time to go to waste. I really wanna make sure that you're getting the most from what you're watching here. Again, I'm gonna circle back around to this topic as well. So I think it'll be good for me to start from the beginning and then we'll circle back around to the advice that I'm asking from you guys. So my channel has been through many, many seasons. I've done travel vlogs. I've done just standard vlogs. I've done dreadlock videos. I've done self-improvement videos. I've done Kundalini videos. I've done podcast episodes. And I've also just in general shared my life, basically like parts of my life that I felt comfortable sharing. And um, that's a lot of niches, right? In between, the time of having this channel. So from 2017 till now, I have also done lots of different training. I've spent so much money. I can't even tell you how much money I've spent on courses, like help. In between having the YouTube channel and posting on the YouTube channel sporadically, I trained to become a digital marketer. So I was doing that for a while. And then I also trained to be a coach, started a whole coaching business. And then I also trained to be a Reiki energy healer and also a little bit of shamanic healing in that as well. And um, started a healing business. So I started the coaching business, stopped that, started the healing business, stopped that. So I've started two businesses in that time and done lots of different trainings. I spent so much money on trainings. And again, it's just like that ADHD training 
trait of like starting something new and then stopping it and then finding something else and then starting that and then stopping that. So um, it makes sense as to why I've kind of gone down loads of different avenues here on this channel, but I can imagine it's very confusing for the people that come here. I guess if you were here from like the beginning, you would have known that like, I've done a lot of vlogs back then and vlogs are still my favorite type of video to create. So I wanna bring that in more because that is what I genuinely enjoy creating the most and I've recognized that more than anything now. Recently, since being diagnosed with ADHD, it's, as I said, it's brought up a lot of stuff for me and it's made me wanna support my life in a way that supports my ADHD and helps me achieve my, you know, passions and my goals in a more aligned way to the way I work. So um, I've recently, again, just come off of all other social media platforms because I just found that they were just so distracting and I would just get stuck in these doom scrolling pockets and I just was getting tired of it really. So I've come off the social media platforms minus YouTube. YouTube is my focus now. So it's given me that, that opportunity to hone in and focus on this platform because I love YouTube. Like genuinely, I've loved YouTube from the moment I knew about it. And it's just been a platform that I've enjoyed being on and creating on the most. Back to getting demonetized. I was demonetized in February, 2024. It just made me realize so much because I think because I've just always done YouTube in the background, I'd never really seen it as something I wanted to pursue consistently. I think I kind of just took it for granted, to be honest, especially the monetization. When I got monetized, I was so happy, but as soon as I got monetized, I stopped posting and that was like all those years ago. But since my monetization has been taken away from me, I'm now like, damn, this is actually what I wanna do. All the business stuff, I think I was thinking that that was gonna be what I wanted to do, but then I would do it and then I would get tired of it. But YouTube, I always came back to, I always came back to this platform. Platform. I always came back to creating another video. So for me, I'm like, I'm not going back to those things, but I'm coming back here. So that rung a lot of bells for me. And I was like, wait a minute, maybe I've just need to focus here. Lo and behold, we're here. And this is my focus at the moment. This is my passion. I've already been going all in this year, but I'm like ready to kind of tidy up my skills a bit more. I've bought new equipment. You don't need to do that, by the way. It was just time because my equipment was so old. The last few videos you've watched, I've been using my phone. I'm now editing on a new software, which is really good. So I'm up leveling my skills and stuff like that. But what I've realized is the content that I like creating the most is the content that I should be creating more than anything, because that's what I enjoy doing the most. I don't want to create content that isn't lighting me up as much because it's not serving me of anything. It's gonna end up becoming more of a chore or more of like a mundane task. So this year I've been posting really consistently, which has been amazing because it's really tested my ability to be consistent. And being consistent has been one of like my biggest red flags when it comes to work. I can be consistent in other areas of life, but when it comes to work, guys, it is a struggle. I blame my ADHD for that because it is, it's just, it's been hard. So this has been a really good test for me to get used to like creating and posting every week. So recently on my channel, I've been posting a lot of Kundalini content. And the reason I've been posting that is because it has been a journey that I've been on. My Kundalini awakening happened last year. I won't talk about it because there's loads of videos on it that I've got on my channel, but I wanted to talk about that because genuinely what I was moving through was quite overwhelming and I felt like I had questions that I couldn't find on YouTube. So that's why I've created those videos and I will continue to create those videos because I know after you've had the awakening, it kind of evolves over the years and it will be approaching the second year in January. So if you don't know what a Kundalini awakening is, it's basically just a type of spiritual awakening. Some people think it's the ultimate awakening. Personally, I don't see it like that. But on top of that, I got diagnosed with endometriosis this year and then I got diagnosed with ADHD. So realizing this, a lot of things have changed and I felt something shift in me, especially mostly after getting diagnosed with ADHD, I felt something shift in me because I was was like oh my gosh this is why I do things the way I do things like this is why I've posted so sporadically this is why I have so many different niches here on my channel but I have a new idea in mind and this is where the advice I'm kind of seeking from you guys is coming into play because I'm stuck between making a new channel for my new idea and having it be that or bringing it to this channel which already has loads of different things and I feel like I'm edging more towards creating a new channel because I've already thought of a channel name idea and everything but I've been stuck in decision paralysis because I have all this content because I've been documenting my journey getting diagnosed with ADHD I've been documenting it all meant uh been documenting it all so I really really want to get those videos out there but I don't want to post it in the wrong place 
if you know what I'm saying. So I don't want to post it here if it's not going to reach the right audience. Therefore, I'm thinking about, you know, sharing on a new channel. So guys, what do you think? Do you think that I should create a new channel or bring it here to this same channel? Which I think the reason why I've been so stuck in doing that is because I do have a reasonable amount of subscribers here. And I have obviously been working on this channel since 2017, which is like six, seven years now. But even though I have 3,400 subscribers, I only have about 15% of my subscribers watching my videos and 84% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed to my channel. So seeing that, it kind of makes me think, mm, maybe it is because I'm hitting too many niches and still my best performing videos are my dreadlock videos, which I haven't done a dreadlock video since 2021. And that's a long time. You know, I'm really happy that those videos are helping people because that's the whole point of me creating videos is to help others. This new channel that I have in mind, I want to come at it from a place of like, it feels like you're hanging out with a friend. It feels like you're joining the journey with me and along the way you're getting advice i'm providing advice and value based on what i'm experiencing and like help there from my perspective of having adhd and being late diagnosed i'm glad those videos are still the dreadlock videos are still performing well but it's a bit all over the place and i think that my channel is flopping because of that reason because i've just been hitting too many marks i think personally i just find it so hard to be one niche because i'm so multi-passionate that like just doing one niche feels like i'm stuck in a box it feels like i'm trapping myself in but when i think about it i feel a little bit stuck with this channel and I feel like my channel feels stuck as well because of all these different things. I think the hard work that's gone into this channel, I feel like I'm almost attached to that. So I find it hard to like let it go, but I wouldn't necessarily be letting it go because the channel will still be here. But I feel like if I do separate the two, I will be utilizing this channel to do more talking head videos rather than the vlog style. And the vlog style will go over to my other channel. So yeah, this is kind of me asking for a friend. So guys if you feel like the new channel would be a good idea drop a butterfly emoji in the comment section below if you feel like i should start a new channel and if you feel like i should keep this channel and start posting that new content then drop a unicorn emoji and i feel like the unicorn because unicorns they have lots of colors unicorn keep it here on the old channel butterfly to start a new channel I'm, I'm literally reaching out for a friend here. <laughs> you guys are the best people to help me come to this decision personally, I think, because you are the ones that are watching this content at the end of the day. So I want it to be the best experience for you guys. I want you to be able to come to my channel and know what to expect and also enjoy it. It's your precious time that you're spending out of your whole day to sit and watch the videos. And honestly, that's such an honor that you would take the time out of your day to do that. So thank you to all the people that have done that. It really does mean so much because I do spend a lot of time on these videos it's honestly like a full-time job like i'm currently working part-time but i'm going back full-time <laughs> in november on the first which it's not something that i necessarily wanted to do but i have to do it because next year is going to be a very busy year lots of weddings going abroad for the wedding so it's going to cost me a lot of money so i'm having to go back full time because of that reason i feel like i'm worried about my consistency because i'm like oh i'm going to be so much more tired i'm going to have less time to create these videos but we're just going to have to try and make it work and i'm going to do my best to stick to schedule consistency and all that kind of stuff can you believe though guys i've got over 200 videos here on this channel like i, I literally can't believe it like it's actually crazy to me obviously to be monetized you have to have over a thousand subscribers and you have to have four thousand hours of watch time so i'm over the thousand subscriber threshold when i got demonetized that didn't change that stayed the same but the four thousand hours was where i needed to do the work but this whole year every single video i've posted the hours of watch time has sat reasonably around the same mark so it's been fluctuating up and down each week and i was like wait is my channel shadow banned or like is there a reason why that's happening because i thought it's weird how like one day i'd look at it and it would be at a certain number higher and then the next couple of days after that it would be like lower and i would get quite confused by that because i'm like wait but it said this and now it's saying that and like where does the cutoff day meet with the annual year i'm pretty sure it refreshes every month so that's why it's fluctuating but again i think it's because of the different niches that i'm creating i'm like posting a kundalini video and then i'm posting a vlog of me in brighton and so i think they're like the main two things that i'm doing at the moment at the end of the day the most important thing for me is you guys like you're spending your time watching these videos so it's important that you get the most from it whether that feels like you're finding the video relaxing to watch like it's a nice chill vlog or whether you're actually gaining some information or whether it feels like you're on facetime to a friend whether it feels like you're 
you know, catching up with a friend, you know, uh, getting some advice from a friend. As long as I've made someone smile that day, I'm happy. You know, as long as you feel like your time has been valuable and you've enjoyed yourself, then I'm happy. So I wanna make this experience the best for you guys. And that's why I'm making this video because I actually would love to hear your perspective on the matter. Would you prefer this channel to be more a channel of self-improvement, Kundalini, and then I create a separate channel for the more vloggy, lifestyle, chatty ADHD vlogs? <laughs> um, or do you wanna see it all in here in one place? What shall I do? The decision paralysis is real and this is exactly why I'm bringing this video out because I don't know what to do right now. I'm like stuck. I'm like, what if I create the video and then I post it here and then it just doesn't serve the right people. It's in the wrong place, you know, and then I've already put it on YouTube. Then what? Am I able to post it on another channel? Would it be copyrighted? I don't know. So guys, I'm still learning. This last year, I've really been focused on learning the algorithm and learning the background analytics side of things because I almost found that like really overwhelming at first. So there's so many videos on my channel that I just haven't really done much on in the background as I've just posted it and just posted and ghosted basically. I'm learning all the new kind of techie side of it. I'm still trying to understand what's best and I really struggle sometimes guys to make decisions on what because I'm like what is the best thing to do though and like what if I do it wrong and then I'll think of like the worst scenario or I'll think of every scenario and then I thought of so many scenarios that I can't even make a decision on what the best scenario is to do because I've over my, overwhelmed myself so much with all the other scenarios. How many times do I want to say scenarios? Scenarios. Um, <laughs> sorry. I'm open to advice. I'm open to hearing what people think and I'm also open to like hear from any other people that are small YouTube content content creators. Oh my God, I can't speak today. Small YouTube content creators that feel like you're in the same boat, like you're stuck on what the best niche is for you basically because you like so many different things and you, you don't want to get bored of what you're creating. That's the thing, like I don't want to get bored of what I'm creating because it's going to ruin the algorithm. Your dedicated, what is it? What's the word I'm trying to think of? Your dedicated subscribers are going to feel a little bit like, oh, she's not doing that anymore. Like they, you were really providing a lot to them. So for me, this has been a really big thing that I'm trying to, you know, make sure it's the right thing that I'm doing because I want to make sure that it's the best experience for the people watching, as I've said so many times. And it's mad because half the people on YouTube say, you need a niche, you need to niche down, niche, 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 niche. And then the other half are saying you are the niche you know you can be the niche if you don't need a niche you can be whoever you want to be but actually when you're being multiple things or if you've done multiple things then does it work the same way and i don't think it does personally i don't think it does because youtube's probably like what the hell are you lauren who are you trying to target we don't know because you're going there and then 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 you're going there so what are you trying to do? So yeah, YouTube's just trying to figure me out, really. And YouTube's like, what is going on? Like, we don't even know. We don't even know where we're coming or going. I'm sure you guys don't even know where you're coming or going here. And I don't even know where I'm coming or going, okay? <laughs> I am trying to figure it out. So yeah, like I said, I've come off social media. I'm having a social media break from like Instagram, TikTok and all of that because I just can't. I've shut down my businesses, <laughs> literally. I'm going back full time. Lots of things are changing. I've got ADHD and I'm like, wow, okay, this is where my ADHD is showing up, these areas of my life, okay? So still I'm figuring out living with ADHD. I've lived with it all my life, but I've not been aware of it. So now I'm aware of it. I'm like, whoa, okay, right. This makes a lot of sense. And also when big changes are coming in, change is good, but it also can be overstimulating. It can also be overwhelming because I don't know how I'm gonna feel mid-November when I've been working full time for like two weeks already. I don't know how I'm gonna feel because doing this on the side, which feels like a full-time job for me because it's a lot of work and I, I like to make it Right, I, I take a lot of time with my videos, man. They, they mean a lot to me. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I'm trying to work on it. I'm trying to work on it, okay? So yeah, guys, I know I've been all over the shop and I apologize about that. It's a shame if you're coming here and you've watched my dreadlock videos and you're like wanting to see more and I just can't provide that for you. But it will always be here. You know, if you're a bit confused with what I offer here, I do offer a bit of everything and that's, that's the problem. So I'm trying to learn to separate it. It just means that if I do start posting on one channel, I'm probably not gonna post on the other 
other channel as much because I'm going to be focused on that. This is what I'm saying, guys. I feel like I'm like attached to this channel because I've put so much time and energy in here. And I'm just like, oh, there's so many things that I've done and there's so many memories that I have here. Like I have so many memories. I have memories from my travel days. Oh, just I, when I think about that, that's why I created them because I was like, I want to have a nice memory. And then my self-improvement videos sitting and talking about like self-development and ways to improve yourself, but in a way that I've lived through it and I've found ways to practice self-love. Yeah, like why am I holding it? Just this looks like a very strange way to hold this. There's just things that I know in the future I really, really want to share and I just don't want to share it in the wrong place again. But most of it is probably going to be like, you know, lifestyle content. But I still want to talk about Kundalini. So this is what I'm saying, guys. I'm just like, what am I doing? So why am I making things more complicated? You know, I just create what I feel like creating. And that's fine. I think there's, there's nothing wrong with that. I think that's a really amazing thing. But I actually want to take this seriously. I know I can do it. I need to make Make sure I'm doing it in the way that's actually serving my time, your time, everyone's time. I am going to keep you updated, so I'll let you know what I decide to do. If I decide to create a new channel, then I will, yeah, I'll let you guys know. Because some of you might be interested, or might not. Who knows? Either way, I'll let you know. But yeah, thank you for listening to my pondering thoughts. I love you all so much. I appreciate every single one of you that have been supportive of me, that have literally done anything down to leaving a like, to leaving a comment, subscribing, hitting the bell, all of the good stuff. That has been so helpful and so supportive. And I really appreciate absolutely every single one of you. Just thank you for watching this video. If you've made it all the way through, thanks. You're an OG. So thank you so much. Much love, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Thank you.